Hi guys, welcome back. Hi, hi Rithil, hi Tarun, hi Pranay, hi everyone. Welcome back to the session, the series of sessions what we are doing on ISRO previous air questions, right? So, I completed networks, previous air questions. Then we are on to machines, electrical machines. I done um, DC machines and then synchronous machines. Yesterday we had a beautiful uh, video also. I think some people are having doubts on that video. Okay, I'll take up that queries as well. If you have any questions from yesterday's session, you ask me. Uh, one guy has really pointed out a nice question from that video what I have shown, the experiment what I have shown. So I'd like to clarify that point as well. And uh, now today, transformer session. Guys, and machines, I would like to divide machines into four parts. Okay, one is the DC machines, the sequence also, follow the sequence as well. DC machines, synchronous machines, transformers and induction machines okay this is the sequence in ISRO exam out of all these four from transformers highest number of questions are come very high number almost in last four years in 2018 of course only one question have come but before that years just for four years 2013 uh, 14 15 and 17 in these years almost 36 questions have come from transformer which is highest you know weight is and mostly theoretical questions by looking at the question you can be able to answer it okay so you should have a theoretical knowledge so meanwhile try to share this video with your friends let other people join if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel so that you know updates will be coming up it will be beneficial for you now I have given in the video links for a playlist of transformers try to watch that videos okay vector grouping normally people have a lot of people have a confusion on vector grouping okay we have a uh, playlist on vector grouping as well three phase transformer if you watch that all your doubts regarding vector grouping will be clear transformer construction animation is given there so try to watch that uh, description links for uh, transformer playlist okay never miss that now manju good evening rahul raju sai has come satya pavan janaki ram janaki ram has a question Sir, question about RMF yesterday experiment. I asked in WhatsApp. Okay, it's you who asked in WhatsApp. Nice, Janaki Ram. Uh, transformers are the heart of AC power system. Psych has really said wonderful thing. The powerful quote is transformer is heart of alternating current system, AC system. It's not AC power system, complete AC transmission system. Transformer is the heart of this power system. Okay. Who said this statement? Not Psych, of course, Psych has recalled. I think uh, one scientist, I don't know, scientist name forgot. Uh, how come I forgot? I just want to recall that badly. Anyways, it will take time. We have a lot of questions. 35 questions, guys. 36 questions I'll be taking up. I'll give you the scientist name. Uh, the scientist name, he said, uh, heart of alternating current system. Anyways, good evening. Yeah, Thakur, good evening. Uh, Anand, good evening. Now, Janikiram has pointed out a question. Let me just uh, uh, clarify that. Okay, what is the question? What he was asking? I think all of you are yesterday. All of you are, uh, are here on live. Hit thumbs up if you are there. Hit thumbs up if you are there yesterday's live session. So that accordingly, I'll, I'll make the question. Sir, why we prefer sign as generating voltage waveform? Wow, kya baat hai, Tarun? Uh, question very good question i'll come to this question also i already done a video on this why sinusoidal is used in uh, networks package in networks package third module sinusoidal model there i have given all the details why we are using sinusoidal it's not because bloody fourier series of course it's not, i cannot say bloody fourier series fourier series is very good people say what fourier series is a reason uh fourier series is the reason why fourier series is a reason any signal can be represented by using a sine and a cos. That's why we use a sinusoid. Bloody fuck, if you can represent any signal by using a sinusoid, use any signal, man. Why are you using sinusoid? Are you getting a point? And some people will say, what's that? Ha, uh, generation of sinusoid is very easy. I know the difficulty, man. I'm electrical engineer. You guys are electrical engineers. You know the difficulty our mind will go away if you want to generate sinusoid it's very difficult to generate sinusoid pure sinusoid i mean okay these are bullshit reasons not the perfect reasons 
I'll make a video. I told you I'll make a video on uh, this Y sinusoid. I'll do that. I already done in our package, one of our packages. I done that. Okay. So uh, yeah. Now coming to this switch. We are great. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Janaki Ram. That's a point. A differentiation integration of sine is again sine. This is a point, guys. This is a point. Good evening, sir. Can you please explain the actual reason behind the transmitting three phase? I already given a video, sir. Vijay Krishna, you just go through our videos once. You guys are not, you know, for every time you want me to repeat every topic. You just see. I'll walk through. I'll take you through our uh, channel, YouTube channel. There, why three phase? Nobody ever done such kind of a thing. Explanation. Nobody ever given that. Whatever is that three phase? Why three phase? Go to Y series. Let's go to Y series. In the Y series, where is the Y series, man? Y series is here. In the Y series, we have a video. Why three phase? Why not single phase? And why not four phase, six phase? Try to watch that. All are very good videos. Okay. All are why, 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 why. For every why, you get an answer here. <laughs> okay. Let's try to watch this video. And guys, there is one more important thing I want to. I just wanted to give it. What's that? Is uh, how many of you did watch? If you are ready to watch Transformers video, how many have watched this video? Origin of alternating current takeover, AC versus DC. How many of you watched this video? This is a movie. It's a documentary, guys. It's a wonderful documentary. Every electrical engineer must watch this. There are a lot of historical things will come into this picture. Will will come into this video. This documentary, the fight. The war of current which has taken place between Tesla and Edison. Why transformer has come? Why RMF has come? Everything is given in this video. Okay, it's a movie with a nice love story. There is a love story also inside it. You can watch it. Okay, now try to watch that. Now coming to Janaki Ram question. Let's not waste our time. Uh, we have less time. More number of questions rather. Um, watch these videos. Why phasor diagram? How to draw phasor diagram? Everything. Everything is. Well explained here. Okay, now come back, come back to topic. Previously, okay, okay, guys, okay, guys. Now coming back to the point. In the yesterday's video, I have shown RMF rotating magnetic field. There, Janikira was asking, it has to turn at synchronous speed. The compass, what I placed inside, that has to turn at synchronous speed, but it was turning very slowly. Did you notice that? Now his question was. Why it is turning slowly? Can somebody answer this question right now? Can somebody answer this question now? Do you got the question? It has to turn at synchronous speed, but the compass was slowing very slowly. It was rotating very slowly. Why is it so? I'm waiting for your answers. I'm waiting for your answers. I'm waiting for answers. Number of poles may be more. Okay. That's a, I mean, a relevant thing. Relevant thing you said, Mr. Janaki. Any other? This session is very important for us because without transformers, alternating current power system is a dead body. Very good, man. You said very correctly. Because without heart, there is nothing. That's right. Okay, let me answer it. It's pulsating so due to reluctance, inertia. No, not all the reasons. Okay, it's very simple. Uh, I think I muted the audio. If you uh, follow the audio at that time, um, I was saying, bada bada, increase, increase the frequency. I was controlling the frequency there. N is equal to 120 F by P. I have a frequency controller. I kept uh, before the stator, I had given um, frequency controller. I, I kept very small frequency at the starting, so speed was very less. Slowly, we are increasing the frequency, then speed is increasing, that's why it is rotating. Okay, I did there a frequency control method. Clear? Very good. I think Giridhar has uh, said correct. Frequency is less earlier, then I increase slowly, frequency to the more value. That's it. That's the reason, Janakira. Now, coming back to our session, let's come back to our session, let's not deviate. Um, first question, we have a lot of questions. Take out the first question. Began. A countdown, tick tock, tick tock. Not TikTok videos. 
clock clock is ticking answer this almost all are theoretical questions this time but really important questions interesting questions as well try to look at this answer it you have 25 seconds a a janaki i think you're not at the question maybe properly d giridhara said d thakur is saying a A, B, A, B. I know, guys. These theoretical questions, time's up. These theoretical questions, I know you are poor in understanding these. Okay. Let me explain, let me, let me explain nothing to worry. I'll explain about all this stuff. Okay. Sarji, Aero, Degbi, Nahi Abhi Tak. Anyways. Um, there are two types of transformers, guys. There are two types of transformers. One is dry type transformer. Dry type. Next one is oil immersed, oil immersed, inside the oil, oil immersed transformer. In dry type transformer, we have again for the type that is AN type, air natural, naturally cooled air. And second type is AF, air forced, air is forced, pump forcefully, that's what air forced, not the air force job. Next one. Oil immersed transformer. In oil immersed transformer, there are four types basically. Okay, you can have number of types, four or five something. Let me give you O N A N. Oil natural, air natural. Natural oil, natural oil circulation as well as air also natural circulation. The second one is oil natural air forced. Okay, forced air through fans or something will be pumping the forced air. Okay, next one. Oil forced, air forced obviously. Oil forced, air forced. Oil is also pumped forcefully. Air is also pumped forcefully. Next one. Oil natural, water forced. Oil natural, water forced. These are the codes. You should be very good with these codes. Now can you guess what is this OFWF? OFWF. Oil forced, water forced. That's it. Now tell me. Now take your time and answer this question. Which one could be uh, the smallest size? Which one could be the smallest size of all these? See here guys, naturally if you want to circulate something, the extraction of heat won't be that much good. If you're doing some forceful act, like a fan, what is a fan? It's a forcefully, it is giving some air. It will get a more air, better cooling. Better cooling means what? Size will be obviously less. So here, oil forced, water forced, both are forced. So this will have least of all these. Okay, least of all these is this one. Okay, the answer is D. Answer is D. Giridhara is correct. Giridhara said correctly. Let's go to the next question. Yeah, timer is running. Answer this. Interesting point. Most of you guys will answer wrong this. I am pretty sure. Most of you guys will be marking this wrong. Yeah, time is running. Two transformers operating in parallel will share the load depends on their rating, leakage reactance, efficiency, or per unit impedance. D A. I know you would be getting a. I would be getting a mixed answers. Hi, my favorite sir. Good evening, <laughs> Divakar. Thank you. Good evening. Very good evening. Yes, Ravi Maurya. Jasprit. Okay. Bully Krishnan. Ravant. I said Ajit. Okay. Your time's up. Rating. You might be thinking it it is proportional to the rating. It depends on the rating, but it's up, not actually. Okay, it's not actually. Both might be having same 50 kVA or 50 mVA. Guys, why transformer is rated in kVA? What is the answer? Most of you, almost every book says, losses are proportional to uh, you know V and A. That's why that's a bullshit answer. Yeah, 
it's a straighter that's a bullshit answer that's not the reason okay why transform is written in kva you can watch our lecture there is a video on that why transform is written in kva you watch it you will understand that answer okay so don't don't try to follow the bullshit things man you think a little if you think a little if you use a common sense a bit then you will understand a lot many things okay now coming to this both might be having same you know uh, same 50 kva but they may share voltage or they may share power differently they may share power differently because of their per unit impedances you may say leakage reactances but leakage reactance is not the only one it is also having resistance so you have to have both so i can say per unit impedance i think the conditions what you have for parallel operation per unit impedances on their own base must be equal if they are different then sharing will be unequal okay sharing will be improper rather than saying unequal it will be good to say improper sharing so answer is d for this next question now yeah transformer coal is core is laminated i think this easy one i i am expecting answer within just maybe 20 seconds prince praveen my favorite sir oh my god i'm favorite to everybody okay thanks prince praveen thank you uh due to unknowing load pranay you're right transformer head in kva that's right if an options leakage impedance is that correct okay giridhar has pointed out very good leakage impedance giridhar you will get an answer very soon because we will be having a numericals based on that i'll explain more clearly with that just wait for a while okay for this everybody is saying answer c i'm not explaining for this we are bloody doing laminations to reduce the ad current losses of course hysteresis losses does not play much role here but this option is the only one so let's mark c that is three is answer okay next question yes your countdown has begun fourth one this is also simple one this is also simple one you can answer it okay Meanwhile, essential rating. Oh, boys, I was asking again a question. When we add extra element for cooling, the transformer is already increased the size. Wow, kya baat hai? Boys, eh, kya baat hai? But here, size as in it's not the outer size. Normally, we talk about we talk about the main core size. Okay, core size tank within that. Okay, it's not about the fins and all. Even if I include that fins and all structure. For natural cooling, you have to have a bigger fins. You have to have a bigger fins. If it is a forced air, you don't have to have a bigger fins. A smaller fins is there, but fan will be there in a smaller size, compact one. Okay. So weight may increase, but size will not increase with that. Okay. Boys, I think uh, I'm clear with the point what you're asking. Now, sir, you're amazing electrical engineering in DR. Okay. Parvis, thank you. Um, Jaspreet, Jaspreet was saying if per unit impedance is same, then the rating is considered for load sharing. Obviously, the laminations are thin. Times up. That's it. It's a simple one. If laminations are thin, that's why we are making a thin laminations. If thick laminations are there, area is more. If area is more, resistance will be less. R is equal to rho L by A. If because uh, why I'm explaining this is we'll have some more questions based on this. Almost all questions are centered around a small area. Okay, so try to focus each and every part. If area is more, resistance will be less. If resistance is less, current is more. Current is more means losses are more. Okay, so answer is D for this. Area must be less so that more resistance so that less current. It all connected. Next question. Buckholes relay. Guys, I have a, that's the first pi square video. Buckholes relay is the first pi square video which is released on YouTube. Through animation, uh, I have given, uh, I think there is in Buckholes relay, I have shown you a switch. Mercury switch is a key element in Buckholes relay. Okay. So that uh, mercury switch I have explained in the recent video, I have shown you mercury switch also in the switches lecture. Okay, once after the times up, I will show you that uh, video also. 
B B B B B B. Yes, yes. Everybody is saying correct answer. Everybody is saying correct answer. I have a special relation with Buckholz Hill because, as I said, that's the first video. Let me take you to that video. Um, yes. Yeah. In this switch, in this video, types of switches. I have explained you, I have shown you that switch also, Mercury switch, because Mercury switch play a key role. I'm talking about this video, okay? Uh, Mercury switch will play a key role in understanding the operation of Buckholz relay. So watch this so that you'll understand Buckholz relay. Now let's go back to that original one, the beginning one, yes, it's the first one, where we got 105 kilo views, okay? Buckholz relay animation, you wa watch it. Now, coming to this, it's oil immersed. You watch that video, you'll understand everything. Why it is oil immersed? Answer is two. Okay, you might have a lot of confusions with Buckholz relay also. If you watch it, all those confusions will be clear. Next question. Yeah, timer has started. Answer this. Why transfer stamping, sir? Annealed before being used for the building. Interesting question, guys. I want to see how many of you. 10 rupees switch, sir. Yes, 10 rupees switch, maybe. Uh, I don't know for at what price I purchased that. Maybe 10 rupees. I got that switch from Kolkata. Okay, I traveled to Kolkata to just buy that switch long back because here not available. B, A, B, C. I know you will, give, you will be getting a mixed answers. Guys, like the video, hit the like button. We have 20. Hit the video, hit the like to the video, share the video with your friends, share it with your friends. If you are new to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell icon. I don't have to say every time, they are forcing me to say but. <laughs> okay, your time's up. Now, see, what is the question? Question says, annealing. Annealing means what? Annealing, annealed of transformer stamping, which means it is a heat treatment before that heat treatment before the using you know transformer on site they will do some heat treatment like you know for wood seasoned wood you know what is seasoned wood they will uh, make that wood for all kind of atmospheres likewise annealed wood means before uh, constructing they will go for they will make it heat treatment so that it will be ready for it to take some heat also Okay, it will be ready to take some heat. With the heat, it will not, uh, the shape will not go odd. Okay, so if a shape will not, shape will go odd, then what will happen? Eddy current losses, the deformation will lead to more eddy current losses. Okay, so to reduce the eddy current losses, we'll go for annealed core stampings. Okay, answer is A. Answer is A. Next question. Oh, we just at seven. We have a lot more. We're running out of time. Quicker, easy one. So it seems to be a difficult one, but it's easy one. You can answer it quickly, I guess. Time is running. Could you please make gate and DSC paper? Definitely, Mr. Mr. Gautam. We'll be doing it for gate also, but not now because for gate 2020, we don't have any plans. For 2021, we will rock. Let's rock. Yes. Saikumar is saying 57.1. So you forgot my question, Govind. I asked yesterday. Govind Ranjan, can you just paste that question now? I forgot. I don't know what question you're talking about. I might have forgot. Yes, let's rock. A A D. Yes. Answer is guys 57.7 percent. Just a couple of days back, we got a call from UAE, from Dubai. Some people are saying they have the same problem. Okay, from in Dubai, they are person, they are facing the same problem. So for that, they ask a suggestion. So in that, that is related to this. Open delta connection, root three times. Okay, it's root three times less. Normally three kVA of single phase should take for a three phase bank. If one is lost for two phases, it will take only root three times of kV of single phase. Okay, that's what 57.7%. Let's go ahead. 
go to open delta connection, you will understand this. Now, try to answer this. Try to answer this. Timer is running. A transformer on no load is switched on to a source of voltage. It will draw a current. Wow. Very good. Theoretical question. Very good questions. Like, like, hit the like. Okay. Like the video, share it, subscribe, hit the bell. You will get a notification that will benefit you. We will keep updating more things. Your time's up. What I answered? Mixed answers. Guys, I strongly recommend there is a concern. Guys, uh, stop typing. It's not trouble too much. It's trouble too much. Please help from where you start for competitive exams. Where to start for competitive exams. Okay, Parvesh, I'll talk about it. Guys, stop typing. Stop typing and focus on this. There's a point of uh, note, point to note, guys. I don't know why you are making mistakes in these theoretical aspects. This is a simple theoretical question, of course conceptual. It's not just theoretical, it's a conceptual question I, I should call. You should not make mistakes in these conceptual questions. If you make a mistake on this means what? You are not good at uh, transformers. You are not good at your co our core, our dill, our heart. Transformer is a heart of complete AC system. It's a heart of our engineers. Then, you know, I am disappointed. I got disappointed. Anyways, I am making videos on transformers also. Again, we are going to rock for 2021. A, a transformer no load, switched on to a source. It will draw. The moment you switch it on, on no load, okay, on no load, it will draw huge amount of current at starting. Huge amount of current. That current is called in rush current. What is that? In rush current. That's why uh, the moment any big transformer is turned on anywhere, there will be a dip in the voltage. All the bulbs will be dim for a little time. Okay, why? It will draw huge amount of in rush current. Okay which will draw several times of steady state current. Magnetizing current depends on the initial state of the residual flux. Very good, this answer. Answer is B. Okay, because of the flux doubling effect. Okay, why it will draw more, more flux, more magnetizing current I mean? Due to flux doubling effect. Okay, there are beautiful concepts regarding this. Okay, next question. Take, take, take the next question. Yes, magnetic in rush current. Let me go through your comments meanwhile. You just, Look at the concept on the next question. I'll go through your comments. I don't think we'll be able to complete all the questions. Anyways, we'll see. I'll see. I'll try. I'll see. Um, Anand, so please answer yesterday's question. In overexcited mode, synchronous generator will act as. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anand, uh, I'll come to that. Okay. I'll forget again. Uh, Let's come to your questions. I think we may take some more time. I don't know what to do. Okay, I'll take up your questions, guys. Guys, I'll do one thing. Anand, uh, let's stick to this session. Let's stick to this session. If you have any doubts in this session, I'll see that. I will make a general session once. On Sunday, I'll make a general session. I mean, whatever the doubts you have on that video, in that one week, if you have any questions on that, if I miss any question, you ask me on Sunday, okay? Sunday I'll take a general session, so you ask me any doubts. So if you can answer, I'll try to answer it. So let's not deviate, otherwise our time will be wasted on this. So sorry, I think you can understand, okay, my situation. Um, sir, machine draw amount of current at starting. I think they're simple maybe. No, boy say he's saying something. Why every machine draw high amount of current at starting? It's not every machine, uh, Mr. Boise. Boise. Uh, it's diff it differs. Transformer draw a huge amount of current for some other reason. Motor will draw high amount of current for some other reason. Okay, reasons are different, but yes, they do draw high amount of current. Here, one thing, transformer may draw or may not draw high amount of current at starting. It all depends on, uh, not on you, not on me, it depends on the situation. What kind of situation? To understand that, you have to know inrush current. Now, coming to the motor. 
motor will definitely draw high amount of current if you don't have a starter of course it will draw high amount of current for sure for that to understand that you watch we have a video on starter you watch that you will understand that okay next um i think that's what i said questions i'll see later so what is doubling effect at starting sir due to residual magnetic field already residual magnetic field will be there in the start in the transformer core the moment see here guys this is a voltage sinusoidal voltage and current is supposed to be something like this right current is supposed to be something like this this is a voltage this is a current i'm talking about a steady state careful because there are a lot of questions based on this i'm talking about a previous question not this question guys this answers is for the previous question let me go back to the previous one yeah i'm talking about this question careful induction current is very important point uh, this is a steady state voltage and steady state current okay now inductor if if i talk about a transient means at starting inductor will not allow sudden change in current so current has to rise from here only at starting current will rise from here only from zero only because of the because of the transient in nature because of the inductor suppose what if i have already some amount of residual flux inside the core residual flux it will this because of the retentivity property of the core already some flux is there now current is increasing like this so some more flux get added up more amount of flux core has to develop more amount of flux again for core to draw more amount of flux more amount of uh, core to create more amount of flux due to non linearity of the uh, of the core the magnetizing current will be very high okay the nature of this magnetizing current is called is second order the nature of magnetizing current is during inrush current i mean not magnetizing current i should correct myself the nature of the inrush current at the starting is predominantly second order harmonic second order harmonic you never come across second order harmonic anywhere mostly except in this situation okay because of the asymmetricity or asymmetrical property anyways now already some amount of flux is there now some amount of flux is added so flux got double for more amount of flux for double amount of flux it will draw 10 times more current why because of the non linearity now you may have a point sir what if residual flux at starting is at negative in that case you don't have any problem in that case you don't have any problem okay and there are few more cases i think uh, it will take more time there are few more cases where inrush current won't flow okay that's why i said transfer over in inrush current it depends on situation it's not in your hand or in my hand it's on depends on at what time switching is happening anyways go to the basics of inrush current you will understand now on two sides of transformer star delta transformer uh one side on star side and delta side voltage and currents both will differ by 30 degrees guys because for star voltage is are root three times means phase angle also they different on delta side currents will differ okay so answer is voltage and currents both will differ uh, answer is differ by 30 degrees only because you know the basics line current and phase current uh, will have a 30 degrees displacement in case of delta in case of a star voltage will have a 30 degrees displacement so answer is this i'm moving on next question yeah it's a long one now let me see what have answered sir why live low voltage winding is near to the core of a transformer ganesh it's a simple question man you can read any book you'll understand if you don't understand then you may you may ask it okay let's not uh, let me not spend time on that because it's easy question you can ask anybody you can ask your teacher also they will also say yeah now scott connection Uh, answer to this answer to this om prakash hi hi everybody timer is running answer to this quick 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 for inrush current protection what protection is used cause usually normal relay sensors yes gaurav has pointed nice nice question i'll come to that there is a question based on that also i'll come to that times up 
Scott connection transformer the number of primary and teaser turns respectively. Uh, primary as in I think uh, you want to say main transformer. Okay, main transformer and teaser transformer. The ratio turns ratio how the turns ratio should be. In case of a teaser transformer, 0.866 percent of N1. Normal transformer is N1. So 0.866 means root 3 by 2. So answer is n comma root 3 n by 2 answer is d nobody have answered no people have answered good people have answered good let me take it to the next question meanwhile i'll walk through your comments gane uh, gaurav uh, your answer your question to your answer will be coming uh, i have asked a question why induction motor frame has fins wow wonderful question Psych, wonderful question. Uh, can somebody try answering a psych question? Why inductor is simple one, you know, it's a simple one. I don't know, psych, uh, how come you didn't get it? If you think once, you'll understand. It's about the losses, it's about the losses, think in that direction. While comparing electrical current and water current, we compare tank with capacitor, wall with resistor, what for inductor? It's an interesting question. Inductor is rate of change of opposition. Who opposes the rate of change in case of uh, water tank? Now something opposes the rate of change. You need to say Mr. Boyce. Uh, okay. Now I can't think. I have to concentrate on many things. <laughs> so you, you can try. Okay. It's because inductor opposes rate of change of current. Rate of change of flow. I don't think something can oppose rate of change of flow of water tank. I don't think so. Okay, time's up. Let me answer this quickly. The use of higher flux density transformer design. It's an easy one. Uh, why you got mixed answers? It decreases the total weight. Higher the flux density, lesser the area. Lesser the area, lesser the weight. Okay, decreases the total weight. It's a simple question, guys. Answer is A. Next question. Answer to this. Timer is running. Answer to this. Uh, Wow, good one, good one. Why D well starter in small rating induction motor instead of isolator? Instead of isolator? Okay, switch you mean. Okay, I'll come to that. Uh, meanwhile, uh, yeah, Psych has asked a question. Answer to that is in case of a DC motor, yoke, in yoke, we don't have any core losses. But in case of an induction motor, the frame, the yoke, I mean armature core is having some losses. Okay. To dissipate the heat, we have to have fins. In case of a DC motor, there is no loss. Why to have a fins there? There is no point of having fins. That's the answer to your question. Um, boy say, I got the your point is clear. Um, Sai was asking why we use D-well starter in small motor instead of isolator. Okay. Uh, is point is interesting I think uh, we should take that in the next session tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow we'll have induction motor they will answer simple one so watching from Pakistan okay 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 Ashraf thank you for watching sir you are the Virat Kohli of teaching field okay thank you to dissipate heat good I think gravity opposes the rate of change of flow okay it's up to you now let me take up this meanwhile uh, the applied voltage of certain transformer is increased by 50%. See guys, flux density is proportional to V by F. Maximum flux density rather. Maximum flux density will be proportional to V by F. This formula, there will be a question for sure in any exam almost directly or indirectly based on this concept. Never miss this concept. Clear? never miss this concept because there will be definitely a question based on this now so voltage has increased by 50 percent so voltage has become 1.5 right previously it was one let's take it as 1.5 previously it is 100 150 it's okay now frequency has become half previously it was one now it is 0.5 so what has happened it's three times 1.5 to 0.5 is three times so answer is a Okay, now answer is A. I'm moving on to the next. Yeah, yes, guys, thumbs up, 
subscribe share hit the bell icon share with your friends like the video we're running out of session there are a lot of questions i think we'll take that questions maybe i'll continue the session tomorrow also maybe because 35 questions are there i thought of completing all those questions today but it's not happening anyways we have time we'll take that in three phase supply in case three phase supply is given to three phase induction motor if uh, three phase induction motor tomorrow we'll see we'll not see to today no option i think so no option i think so power input to the transformer on no load at rated voltage comprises predominantly no option okay in the previous question maybe you're asking i think here answer is answer for this is uh, yeah that's from the previous one answer for this is c yeah everybody answered c that's right one right one because during no load only core losses will be there that's why core losses are called as no load losses that's it name itself has it now next this question i'll take th three more questions or two more questions i'll end up after that we'll continue tomorrow what is third harmonic motion in transformer third harmonic motion third harmonic motion i have never come across third harmonic motion mr sai i may be not clear so i may have to go through it once if you're sure but i never come across third harmonic motion in transformer and transformer especially induction machine yeah but transformer why induction motor again tomorrow induction motor tomorrow induction motor tomorrow day after tomorrow maybe yeah times getting done times up ac ac most of you saying a and c okay distribution transformer careful we have two types of transformers two types of transformers one is distribution transformer another one is power transformer of course both operated power frequency that is for sure both operated power frequency that is for sure uh, distribution transformer and power transformer the power transformer always current is always at full load always power transformer current is at full load distribution transformer will have not full load okay maybe a less much less than full load it depends but always at rated voltage okay so here we try to optimize for copper losses because always copper losses will be there we'll try to optimize the copper losses in this case we'll try to optimize the core losses because always core losses will be present at the same value we try to optimize the core losses so uh, core losses will be less than the full load copper losses answer is this because we our focus will be on optimizing the core losses okay next one simple one uh, i can answer it very quickly ps pcl question yesterday okay if we use air core instead of iron core then hysteresis loss will be zero yes if you use a air core instead of iron core we'll use uh, we'll have hysteresis loss zero not only hysteresis loss, eddy current loss also zero because they are called as a core loss there is no core there is no loss simple uh psych was asking sir ideal transformer cannot transform power and frequency is it right this question asked in sscje psych one point ideal transformer means very interesting question you asked let me answer this then i'll go to your question very good question it's a discussion kind of a thing we'll discuss that non-loading heat run test heat run test what is the other name of heat run test sampana test that's it in the question itself answer is given if you know the other names of heat run test that's d okay now coming to psych psych question psych has asked interesting question what was that mm, if you have if you go, ideal transformer it cannot transfer anything yes it can be right in one direction what is that these ideal transformer right so if i apply here some voltage there is no current flowing because under no load condition there is no load under no load condition there is no current there should not be any current under no load current no load condition if there is no current flowing in this then there is no flux build up there is no emf induced here so under no load condition 
it cannot induce any voltage on this side now let's take it as a loaded condition if it is loaded if it is loaded then the magnetizing current i mu it has to create the flux then only that flux will link with this now for creating the flux there has to be a magnetizing current but in case of a ideal transformer in case of an ideal transformer i mu is equal to zero it's again an idealistic factor it all discussion based on discussion only one can come to a conclusion okay because it's not realistic as for my point magnetizing current is zero there is no flux as there is no flux there is no point of having here there is no point of having any flux uh, there is no point of having any emf okay you might say there is some current flowing here so this current this current the both the fluxes will oppose each other they cancel there is no net flux okay so your right side there won't be any power transfer that could be a point now make a telegram group yes it is already there you can uh, check the description telegram group um c c c sampana test everybody is right let me take next question uh, Mm, next question next question save and next yeah take this i think it's just repeated the previous question okay you can simply answer this we had the same kind of question uh, previously telegram group is there you can check the description follow the description guys um and distribution transformer intentionally made to operate maximum efficiency at yes you're right because normally uh, load full load will be at 50 to 75% only that's why you're right answer for this a a a a yeah we already saw this i think i can skip this question directly because we already saw the same question now this is also simple question you can answer very quickly we are moved we moved on to the next question you can answer very quickly this also yeah 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 right a good one good one keep it up guys keep it up keep it up if you are new to the channel subscribe so that you will get notifications it will benefit you if you are subscribing you are not i am not going to get any benefit i am saying if you are sharing i am going to get a benefit if you are subscribing you are going to get benefit okay if you are sharing then we will feel energy and uh, you know that thing so if you want to help us share if you want to help yourself subscribe simple thing and hit the bell we subscribe and hit the bell for all bullshit channels as in you uh, know all uh, comedian channels tv news political debates but these educational we don't do that hmm? i know i know guys answer is simple for this both conduction and induction induction that's what the auto transformer auto can somebody say what is meant by auto auto wala auto wala auto is this that auto <laughs> auto auto means self one winding itself will act as a primary and secondary okay auto rickshaw normally rickshaw auto rickshaw auto rickshaw means what that itself will drive you know you don't have to pedal it okay auto means what self i told you we are egoist due to ego we took instead of calling it as a self we call it as auto transformer okay so there conduction and induction both guys uh, this would be the last question okay i have another appointment this would be the last question we'll end up with this i'll continue transformers once again tomorrow okay i'll announce the timing take up this potential division principle um psych it, it can't be exactly said like that okay potential division principle you may say but uh, it won't be a proper one if you say potential division it's a transformer action only combination of transformer potential division that would be the best one now scott connection guys why we have to go for scott connection what the bloody hell where we use three phase to two phase conversion or two phase to three phase conversion people say some examples in heating in heating we use three phase to two phase and two phase to three phase okay but have you ever come across this three phase to two phase and two phase to three phase i never come across it okay i know i worked with different laboratories the best laboratories but i never come across this kind of application 
then why we are after this Scott connection? Okay, the what is the base? What is the beauty of the Scott? Scott is really good person. He has come with beautiful idea. To understand all these, you have to go watch that Y50 Hertz video, not a short video, Maggie Wala video. Maggie video means two minute video. Okay, the comprehensive video, 30 minutes video. You watch that. There you will understand the necessity of converting two phase to three phase. Not only that, if you watch that complete comprehensive video, you will get more more points, more more historical details clear. Okay, now uh, coming to this uh, to end of the session. Main transformer and TZ transformer has a transformation ratio. He is not asking about a trans ratio. He is asking about a transformation ratio. If it is a trans ratio, this would have been B. Transformation ratio is A. Okay. Of course, if it is a transformation ratio, also K will be the denominator. Uh, so transformation ratio is asked. So K is a transformation ratio. Two by root three. Previously we saw root three by two. This is two by root three. That's it. Uh, sorry guys, I had to end up the session here. We're out of time. And just for that only, we're ending the session now. We have a lot more questions. Okay, so I'll take up all those questions in the next session. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Uh, keep sharing. See you tomorrow. Thank you.